heck is all this? Look at that. Boom. Just a little pocket dump. All right. What is this, really? Well, it's a two-part video. Not two parts, but two things I'm going to cover. This little guy right here, and this guy right here. So, you've seen this video. I carry it with me daily. Uh, can't go anywhere without that. And there's always one of these on me of some type. This is just the one I happen to be carrying right now. It is a Rough Rider. It's probably, I mean, it's less than $15 from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Um, <clears throat> we're going to talk about this blue dude. It's a Paca pen. I say Paca. It may be Polka. P-O-K-K-A. But I figure if it's going in your pocket, maybe it should be Paca. It was invented by someone who got tired of losing these $25, $30 brass deals or metal deals from Space Pen. Fisher Space Pen writes underwater, does everything. It's a great little EDC pen, everyday carry. I don't like the refills that come with them. They're usually a broad or medium tip black. This be hard to do. Um, this is a probably more of like a oh, I can't write. Um, Bic refill. It's not gonna, they do have a pressurized ink refill made by Fisher, actually, that fits these pens. These refills here will not fit this, this tip. And also, this will not fit their all-weather pen. It have a collaboration with both Fisher and Right in the Rain notebooks that created an all-weather pen. I have one. Um, they're still significantly cheaper than this, but... I don't think they're refillable. I don't see any refills for them on their website. and uh, But these are refillable. For a couple few bucks, uh, depending on how many you purchase, um, it's up to you if you want to buy refills for it or if it's worth the refill for you or not. I like these. They're nice and lightweight. They're just like the perfect size in the hand. Um, they have the ridges on it. And they're uh, like octagonal sl um, not slices, but edges what would you call that anyway that's on there i like it better than like this honestly i've never been a huge space pen pen fan i find they don't always write the smoothest or you know they always have like a glob of ink on them or something like that Let's see if this one here does today yeah, it's pretty clean i don't know it's just I feel like they're overhyped. I mean, yeah, they can write underwater and stuff, but I've never been underwater and needed to take a note of anything. Never been, you know, in space or anything like that. I mean, they make pencils, right? But for something neat to go into the pocket, I like this too because it's lighter weight. And if you lost it, you're not going to be that upset versus if you lost this guy right here. They do make little clips for them. I'm not quite sure how they work, how effective they are. I don't know. Um, but I got a few of these, gave some out as gifts and stuff. I mean, you get like a five or six pack for 20, 25 bucks or so. Um, pretty darn inexpensive. <clears throat> so, that's that. And also to show you a little size comparison. I honestly hardly ever carry this thing. And look how dingy it's gotten over the years. I've had it for years. This one, get up there. I like that's a little bit smaller too. All right. So enough of that. Let's get back to this wallet. Oh gosh, that was an awful noise. So I got this, tested it out and everything. I was like, man, I feel like it's the, the leather's a little bit too soft. You know, things might fall out. And I mean, no, not really. I mean, you give it a good hard shake, I'm sure it would. Um, but I was kind of just afraid of stuff falling out. So it made this much stiffer, much more rigid one. Well, I gave it to my kid. While this would probably break in, sorry, my hand's getting in the way there. Um, what I don't like is this credit card slot is much, not much, it's longer than this one. So with this stiffer leather, 
having to like go into this stiff leather and you know jab your fingers down is almost kind of like painful you know to reach in there to this pocket and try to pull out your cards and everything whereas if it was a little bit shorter and they would protrude a little bit that'd be better um let's see if this here will show us well this is soft enough that it doesn't matter that i can pull that out of there okay so I'll just show you here what I mean. Oh, let me back over here. This is my uh, NASCAR racing license. If you don't have one then, hey, I don't know what to tell you. You can't drive fast. I can get away with it. Not really. You can believe that if you want to. Self, I mean, that's not even down in there. It's down in there pretty darn far. See that? So to have to reach down in there, I don't like that. All right, so I give this to my 12 year old. He can put his little bit of, he so much money he's carrying with him. Um, just wasn't a fan of this one nearly as much. I do like the design as it's very much the same, but I would, it, and if this was just a little bit shorter than the other one maybe, or not shorter, but the same size, if that pocket was a little bit shorter where the, cards could stick out yeah kind of like this right here it might would work but the softer leather i found is not an issue you can see it's kind of aging well getting a few little scars on it and everything and it's doing pretty good anyway that's all for today hope you have a good time and we'll see you next time